Don't strip the screws. Okay, I'm stripping out this screw. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I'm stripping it. I'm stripping it. I'm stripping it. After a long six hours, it's time to see if the new PC works. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, it's not turning on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Forginal PC building stream. As you can see here, we have PC parts. This is this will be my third PC I ever built. I'm kind of scared, but hopefully I don't break it. So I'll go over the specs. We have a GTX 4070 here. We have a Ryzen 9 uh, 7950X 3D. I know, pretty, pretty controversial um, CPU, but... Yeah, we have whatever this motherboard is. We got that. We have whatever this power supply is. We got that. We got four terabytes of storage, 64 gigabytes of um, RAM. We have this Chromax CPU cooler. And I also have um, a bunch of these white fans to swap out in the PC case. I'm um, just a bit the aesthetic, and I got this white little cover for the CPU cooler as well. You want to avoid touching Ew. Cool contacts, be they on the flat underside of an LGA Bro, CPU, why is he eating it? So here we have the CPU. It's time to <laughs> unbox it. Wow, what beautiful unboxing. So my current computer has a Ryzen CPU, and I don't think I will ever go to Intel because if you go to Intel, you're a goofy goober. NPC playlist. Biaro spent three hours Shut setting up. up the stream just to break the CPU. I didn't break Skull. the CPU. It's... It's working, right? There's no bent pins. Here we go. I'm just gonna put it in there. It's in. Oh my god, it's in. Let's go, let's go. I did it. Push it down really hard. Okay. It's in. Let's go. So this is the hardest part for me because both times I'm, I've built a PC before, I built these on backwards or something, and I think I broke one stick on my cousin's computer. One of those. I'm gonna push it down really hard. Okay, that one's locked in place. When I built that PC, the PC I have now, I don't think I peeled off these little bottom pieces. Bro got the Hawk Twa Cooler, ha ha. And then the Hawk Twa Cooler? Wait, actually, it's not budging. Oh crap. Don't strip the screws. Well, I don't think I need these ones anyways, but I'll try not to. Okay, I'm stripping out this screw. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to get this screw out because I'm gonna fucking strip it. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. I'm stripping it, I'm stripping it, I'm stripping it. Hey, can you build me a. PC for me. My boy, this PC cooked. Just bring it to a professional, my boy, before you need to buy new parts. If it's that bad, you can take a rubber band and put it in the hole and use that to screw it out. Rubber band method. I got this goofy out Mario Odyssey music playing, dude. Dude, why the fuck did this have to happen, man? I just want to fucking build my PC. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Two hours later. Okay. Well, I tried everything, so that's it. I'm back, day two, so I did end up getting the screw out, as you can see. Right there, it's out of there. I took a giant knife, I melted it on the stove so that it was burning hot, and I stabbed it into the plastic so that the plastic would melt and I could lift up the other half, and I snapped that off, and I was able to take pliers and twist the plastic to get the screw out. And I was kind of scared that I kind of screwed myself because I didn't know if I needed the plastic to install the cooler, but I don't think I do because it comes with screws and shit here. So hopefully we're still good to go. I am still scared though, because I don't know if this CPU cooler is gonna fit well. I don't know if it will fit even into the case. All right guys, here we go. The Holy Grail, the 4070. What did you eat today? Today I had three slices of turkey. Oh, look at that mama sexy mama. Dang. It's time to test it. So I need my screwdriver. Oh, it's lighting up. Okay, here we go. Ready? We're turning it on. It's on. Oh, crap. Okay, there's an orange light. Spam delete so we can get to the BIOS. There's our CPU. We have... 65,000 megabytes of RAM. That light that was orange originally is green now, so I'm guessing that's good. It's time for the case. Uh, all right, all right. Hold on. Uh, it's working. Oh crap, I'm slipping. Oh shit. 
Now it's ripping. <sighs> okay, nobody clipped that. This is the case I went with. It's a nice white case. This is the Corsair 4000D Airflow. I got five of these white fans. I'm gonna put three on the front, one back here, and one up here. Where did I put the booklet for my case? Go back in the VOD to where I opened the case and look where I put the instruction booklet. Check inside the motherboard box. I had no way I put it in the motherboard box. Okay, why the hell did I put it in there? So that middle piece there, that's sticking up through the hole. I don't know if you can tell. These ones, however, everyone on the outside is not like sitting inside of it. I don't think it's supposed to, so I think it's good. Yeah, there's no way I was getting this in without taking these fans out. But what about USB 3 and 3.2? Yeah, what about those, Linus? Wait, I don't see those, but it comes with the case, right? There's no USB 2 plug. I just see, I see whatever this is, and then whatever this is. This is for USB 3, right? Now I have a USB 3.0, which people said it should be able to just plug right into this, which I think is my only option. It should work, they said. I believe this is correct. If it's not, GG. If the fan is strictly for case airflow, then it's as simple as lining it up with the correct set of holes in the location you want it, and screwing it in with these chungus fan screws, or little rubber doodads like these ones. Chungus. Be sure to keep the fan's cabling clear of the loads Linus said chungus. And it's possible to have the fan cable sticking out of the corner closest Yo, to the fan. Oh, Linus. Usually towards you the funny. Now, if these fans are part of a liquid cooling setup, then your radiator's gonna go in now. And you can put away those chungus fan screws in favor of slimmer, but chungus. more chungus <laughs> Where the radiator goes is up to you. Some people oh, like to have exhaust air on the top of the- Uh-oh. Uh, the power supply doesn't fit. This is what goddamn happened. So I couldn't slide this into the fucking case from here so i had to insert it from the side and these screw these bottom screws line up but look at that doesn't line up i think the screw is supposed to go up here but it goes here oh wait wait maybe i can screw it oh i can screw it like that never mind never mind okay we're good i can screw one here and i can screw it here Okay, we're good. Before we install the final thing, which is the graphics card, I got this cover for my CPU cooler. So you put these little gray things on here and then you slide this into here to attach it to the freaking metal part. And then all you do is you take these and you slide them on until the magnet clicks it. And would you look at that? Put that in there. Now they're white. Pretty cool, I think it looks good. You can't really see doing it like this, but... That's in there. Oh shit. Oh, it snapped. Yes! I think I did it. It's time to power it on. I'm pretty confident that I did a good job and it'll work. GPU cable! Oh, you're a genius. Thank you, I almost forgot. After a long six hours, it's time to see if the new PC works. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my God, it's not turning on. Why is it not turning on? Oh, the freaking switch. Here we go! Uh-oh, there's a red light. That's not good. Oh, it's green now. Let's go! I did it! Oh my god. No keyboard detected. Oh, yeah. I should probably plug one in. We got that fan going, that fan going, both of those fans going. They're so quiet. Well, guys. There it is. It's insanely quiet. I'm so freaking happy. I have a couple things I gotta fix with it, like this bottom fan. I don't have a way to turn that on, but everything else is perfect. I love it. It was a long journey, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Now I'm gonna clean up and rest my fingers. Look at it, bro. Look at those blisters. See them? I don't know.